guys and welcome to another Disney reading. Today we have Disney's 101 Dalmatians, Cruella Sea Spots, which is showing us October 26. Okay. Cruella looked around the living room of the old Deville mansion and rubbed her hands together. The room was full of Dalmatian puppies. Everywhere Cruella looked she saw spots, spots, spots. At last her dream was coming true. Cackling with glee, Cruella thought back to the day this had all started. It began as a, per a perfectly miserable day. Cruella had been shopping for fur coats all morning and she hadn't found a single thing she liked. Too long, too short, too black, too white, she screeched, knocking an arm a load of coats out of the shop assistant's hands. I want something unusual. I want a coat that has never been seen before. Cruella stormed out of the shop, slamming the door so hard that the glass cracked. She needed something to cheer her up. Just then, she remembered that her old school friend, Anita, lived nearby. Soon, Cruella stood at the door, ringing the buzzer impatiently. She could hear cheerfully piano music coming from an open window. Just then, a pretty brown-haired woman answered the door. Her eyes opened wide when she saw the skinny woman covered in fur standing on her doorstep. Oh, Cruella, she cried. What a surprise. Hello, Anita, darling, Cruella said, walking into the sitting room. At that moment, a tall, thin man strolled down the stairs, smoking a pipe. But when he caught sight of Cruella, he leaped back in fright. Ah! A Prince Charming, Cruella said, smirking at Anita's new husband. Roger scowled. Suddenly, something else caught Cruella's eye. <clears throat> Two black and white spotted dogs were sitting in the corner of the room. And what have we here? Cruella asked. Oh, that's Pongo and Padita, Anita explained. They're wonderful pets. But Cruella wasn't looking at the dogs. She was looking at their coats. Their glossy fur wasn't too long or too short. It wasn't too black or too white. Cruella had never seen anything like it before. It was perfect. And soon we'll be even happier, Anita went on. But Anita is going to have puppies. Puppies, Cruella shrieked. Suddenly she had an idea that made her smile an evil smile. Oh, Anita, you have positively made my day. Now... You must call me just as soon as the puppies arrive. I think they are just what I have been looking for. Pongo snarled, but Cruella didn't notice. What a perfectly marvellous day, Cruella said to herself as she strode out of the door. And that was how it all started. Oh dear. <laughs> so guys, if you enjoyed that story, click like. If you'd like to see more, click subscribe. And as you can see, the next story will be Disney's Winnie the Pooh, Tigger's Moving Day. So guys, I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.